evening. I'm sure you can tell by my burnt face that I am, in fact, in Portugal, it happened. Also, thank you to Functional Beauty for sponsoring this video. Basically, I arrived this afternoon to Portugal. I didn't really vlog the traveling, but it's just like, it's obviously not really fun anymore because nothing's like open and I had my mask on the whole time, so I couldn't really chat to you. And you know me, I'm a chatterbox. I love chatting to you girly pops. But I'm here now, I'm all settled in. So basically, we had this book flipping months ago, way before anything happened. And we completely expected like the whole holiday to be canceled, but now the government's like, woo, tourism go on holidays and our flights like weren't cancelled and they're like we got the go ahead to go but this is actually my auntie's house she she's like my french auntie uh, but she has a house in portugal so that's why we're staying if we were staying in a hotel we definitely wouldn't have been able to come also it's summertime you know what that means the big boobs big boobs um chat anyway so they're out and they're ready to play so if you see them throughout the video don't even think guys i put on way too much nipple balm there and i'm like glistening Ew. But if you see them throughout the video and you think, let me leave her a little comment about how flat chested she is, I fucking know I am, okay? I'm gonna get a boo job when I, no I'm not. I can't have a boo job because I'm just like a very like indecisive person. Like I switch up my mind every single day. So like what if I wake up one morning and I'm like, you know what, I don't want this boo job anymore and I've already got these big things of plastic inside me. What do I do then? Do you know what I mean? Wait, this is an intro to a vlog. Why am I talking about a fucking boo job? Anyway, do you want me to give you a tour of the house? Okay, final day. But first, we must make a coffee. Here we have some Portuguese almond milk. Leche mondoa. Something like that. So we're putting in one shot. And then two shots of coffee. Two shots of vodka. The freezer. Who in the hell put the muffins in the freezer? What the who in the hell put the muffins in the freezer? Okay, so it's so cute. So we start off in this wee like cobbled street. Very nice. And you come in here. We got some hand sanitizer here. Um, Health Queens. And then we walk in here. Some big vases. Very nice. Big nice living room. Everyone out here is playing beer pong. There's the pool down there. Nice view. It's so lovely. It's literally kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's in a place called Algezur. Not that you're gonna know what that is. And then there's loads of bedrooms down there and there's loads of bedrooms down there, but they're actually unimportant. The only thing that matters is my bedroom. So this is my bedroom. Nice, very near the kitchen, which is important for me. Here's mine and John's beauty setup. I've decided I'm gonna turn to those wee cool girls who take disposable, so that's what that is for. My nice coffee. Here's me in like my really weird shorts. I'm like, I'm not sure how to feel about them. Like. Very weird. And here we have this bed. Now, if this isn't meant to be sung in India, then I don't know what is. Darinch like nobody's watching. Life like you've never been art. Sing like nobody's listening. Life like it's everything on earth. Try to tell me I'm not the best in the business because I fucking am. Sorry, that was really aggressive. My spot is just taking the limelight away from me isn't it it is and now this is mine and john's bathroom john already put in here and it actually fucking stinks like i can't stay in here you know what it is on holiday like i will have to wash my hair every single day it's not ideal but like john dunks me in the pool without fail every time i go within 100 meters of it so like it's just a thing now i have to be washing my hair every day and you know what we like to wash our hair with the beautiful functional beauty take it everywhere with me even portugal so we all know i've been using functional beauty for ages i've gone through like three bottles at this point but it's so fun because it's basically like a subscription service for shampoo and conditioner you fill out a quiz online it's like a two minute easy quiz about your hair type what you want in shampoo and conditioner to do etc i look so ugly in this lighting but just get over it so the quiz basically creates your own personal shampoo and conditioner you get to choose a scent the color you even get your name on it which is so cute i love it it's like my favorite shampoo and conditioner ever there's no parabens sulfates shamos toxins it's like vegan 100 curly free like it's everything it's just it's everything also when you order you can like choose between sometimes like i kind of switch it up for this order i got a hair mask but you can also get like hair oils hair treatments it's a it's a it's a movie. Functional beauty is a movie. And they are transitioning into more sustainable materials. So there's less waste, less plastic, you know the drill. But yeah, I have been using it for so long. And the amount of times I bleach my hair, my hair should be literally off my head. Like I should be bald. Um, but it's, still, it's actually still going strong. And if you use the link in my description, you can get 20% off. So I'm going to go outside now to let my hair air dry. I try not to use too much heat on it because... <gasps> Thank you for that. I try not to use too much heat on it. You, you know the drill, it's already dying. Feel it? Softest thing I've ever felt in my life. Really? Yeah. Thank you. By the way, transition, he said, softest thing I've ever felt in my life. The boy mumbles, he goes, 
This is an nourishing life. Right, ready for the night. God, I really did get a lot of sun today. Jesus, I really did get a wee bit too much sun. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Jesus, give me strength. That's what my mum says like every day when I do something. Give me strength, Jesus. This is what I'm wearing, cutely white dress. I'm usually so open with everything I wear. Like I will tell you where everything is. I'm not one of those girls who's like, honestly, I don't know my mum got it. Like I don't know where this is from. But I genuinely have no idea where this dress is from. Did you see my hairy armpit? Don't tell anyone. I found it in my house, right? And then someone asked me where it was from. So I looked at the label, no fucking label. So confused. But it's amazing, I love it. It's like wee crochet. And then it's like backless as well. And then I'm just wearing it with my Birkenstocks. And then for accessories, you know me, just wearing my gold jewelry because I'm a gold girl now apparently. I'm still not sure if gold is my color. Is silver my color? I think it might be guys. I think it brings out the blue eyes better. I think brown hair, brown eyes, gold looks amazing on. Also, I was gonna put on this white shell necklace and my white shell bracelet, but I've finally come to the decision that I'm leaving that stage of my life in last summer like that was too far i had shell everything and to be fair it was whenever visco girls were thriving that feels like five years ago doesn't it whenever it was like visco girl season and like the the hydro flasks and this like it's so weird that that was only last year wait wait, wait. ready 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 smile 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 ready three two one thumbnail <laughs> oh you actually smiled sorry i was just farting guys i can't fucking deal with this spot it's like is it a bug bite or something? Because it's it's huge. She's a mammoth. John, show them your shirt. Oh my gosh. Because she's the sexy boy. Sexy boy. I'm not. That that, stop snap. fucking hitting me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm done, I'm done. I want lip gloss on my lips. You what? I put lip gloss on my lips. It's nipple balm, not lip gloss, love. Sorry, let me pop it. No. Let me pop it on the camera. No. Ow. Oh, I got it, I got it. Did you? Yeah. What'd you say, Matt? Yeah, go on, man. I could do a vulgar drink, Matthew. Stop this madness. Stop this madness. What do you want from me? It's very Mamma Mia vibes, isn't it? Oh my God, I'm loving life. Little blue wall. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm just getting a really in-depth tour here. Little blue door. Oh my God, it's just so cute, isn't it? And then when you walk up here, it's the pool. But there's also a mirror. Can you see me? Hey girly pubs, it's me. I just love this house so much. My auntie really snapped, didn't she? That's what I want to be when I'm older, the rich auntie that like, I'm manifesting that I'm going to be the rich auntie. Um, I might have to come back here every summer. I'm interested to see what the beach is like though because I'm pretty sure it's like the, I'm pretty sure on the west coast of Portugal and that's like pretty much the same sea as Ireland. Don't quote me on that. I'm not very good at geography, but I do know that this is a big surfer spot. So like big waves, which is scary, big waves. Sharks could be hiding in there. Do you know what I mean? It's not a bit of me. Hey, I'm awake and I'm really tired and I never wake up this early. It's fucking eight o'clock, but I'm just like, if there's sun out, I have no excuse to be lying in bed. Do you know what I mean? It's my bikini for the day. Quite cute. I'm trying this new face wash that I saw on TikTok and I'm gonna try clear my skin because I actually have quite big spots on my forehead at the minute. In fact, that is such a lie. I've got one tiny spot on my forehead, but like, I just love trying new skincare, okay? Oh no! There's no towel! Oh, I'm just gonna have to drip all the way back to my room. Oh. Do you know a really funny story? So I didn't I am using an electric toothbrush and I didn't bring it because my mum was like, oh no, I've got loads of these like small ones to use because you don't have to bring the electric charger and I was like fantastic paw and real times loving life. Last night I went to brush my teeth, paw. Oh I forgot the toothbrush. Fantastic. I haven't washed my teeth in over 24 hours. Uh, clean, 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 hygiene queen. Okay, this is so exciting. So every year when I come to like somewhere in Europe for holiday, we get this cereal and it is so good, but you can't get it in the UK or Ireland. So that was really aggressive. Mm -mm -mm. Breakfast with a view. The trick is to actually eat your, if you really like something you never want it to end, eat it with a teaspoon because then you get more of it. 
we're gonna go now and try to find some coffee. I know I can make coffee in the house, but it's just like, in fact, I don't even care if I don't get coffee. I just kind of want to see what this wee village is like and kind of get my bearings, etc. Yeah, look like behind us, there's a big church. Love it. Also, just wearing my wee Levi shorts. Love whipping them out in summer, you know what I mean? So everyone's like, let's go surfing. But I've watched that movie with Blake Lively when she goes surfing and the short gets her. So I'm not very interested in it. I know exactly what's happening. Yesterday I was like, I'll never wear white puka shell necklaces again. And here I am wearing one. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a complete liar. I'm a compulsive liar. I'm a two-faced slag. Okay, we're getting some drinks and snacks, even though like it's not dinner time, we're just being a bit cheeky. I'm getting a mojito. Didn't I get so tan today? Look at that. Wow. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Double sack. Got myself a wee mojito. <laughs> we're not going to walk some shelter dogs because my cousin texted me obviously this is her house and she was like oh my god you need to go to the shelter like they let you walk the dogs on Sunday so that is what we're going to do by the way it's a new day it's just all over the place isn't it also I burnt my scalp so badly because you just don't think to put sun cream on your scalp do you did I just pick my nose on camera who knows my scalp is like properly flaking off and it looks like I've got dandruff like these things happen okay it's not dandruff I promise but like there's nothing wrong with dandruff either do you know what I mean it's a natural bodily process <laughs> Also, we're like trying to avoid going out for dinner. So what we're doing is like come down with me, like with the couples. So it's mine and John's turn tonight. We're doing a Mexican night. So I will show you what we do for that. I did just spend 150 pounds at the supermarket. Oh my God, I need to show you what I got. Look at her. We called her Fanny. Fanny the floating flamingo. She's so huge. She's a mammoth, of course. Oh my god, guys, oh my god, I'm so red because I'm so stressed. Okay, so come down with me tonight. Me and John are on duty, and John and I, oh my god, why am I so tan or burnt? You, you tell me, you tell me. Okay, the audio cut out here, but here's some vegan nachos because we can't have all the cream and the salsa, but the, the normal nachos are in there. And then over here, we've got some peri peri chicken for the fajitas, fajitas. Then we've got some fajita veg, um, for some fajita seasoning, and then. That's about it. Then we got some salt room glasses for the for their margarita, which I have made, and it actually smells like my sick. So really, really looking forward to that. We're really like cooking it up a storm. I've never like cooked a meal for someone. I think the most I've cooked is like a pasta dish. So the fact that I'm sitting here cooking dinner for eight people is like really, really stressing me out. My family about to arrive. We sent them out for drinks, but yeah, they're coming back now. So I will show you the food when it's all sitting out and all. And um, we've also got the Mexican music going. Like it just, it's an exciting time. Yeah, tomorrow is like a really big day though because we decided to surprise my parents and we've I've rented well we've all rented this like really nice speedboat and like toes inflatables and like water skis and also it's gonna be it's gonna be a movie oh my god you can see me in the back ew don't look at me I look like a ruler you have to do an activity for after as well so we've got limbo and tequila shots so that'll be fun will I end up wedding on my own come down with me night and will I get marks down because of it Probably. And that's just something I've come to terms with, honestly. Right, I've got to go because I need to put the limes and the desperados. That's another thing we've got desperado. Anytime I hear desperado, I just think of desperado. Sitting in a whole lot. I'm a huge Rihanna stan, to be honest. If you didn't know Rihanna, you probably wouldn't know that song. Anyway, Rihanna is my king. I am like talking a million miles an hour, but I'm just like really, really stressed out at the minute. But let's get to come down with me. I hope I win. If I don't win, I'm gonna literally gonna cry my eyes out. I will update you now if I won. Right, so. Up until the last night, I was pretty confident that me and John were the winners. However, Matthew and his girlfriend swoop in on the last night and take us by storm with an Italian-themed night. Now, you can't go wrong with an Italian, so to me, that's a bit of a safe move. Anyway, they made a carbonara, and I was loving life because they made a vegan carbonara. And that's quite hard because carbonara is literally like egg, cream, bacon and shit. But they made a nice, lovely vegan carbonara. So I literally gave them a nine because it was just so inclusive and their activities were so much fun. But anyway, yeah. So they ended up winning by half a point, may I add. Anyway, I was a bit paved off, but to be honest, I thought they deserved it. It was a lovely night. Then the next morning, they were tidying up and throwing the boxes away. And Emma was in the kitchen and looked at the back of the carton and they just used normal creme fraiche for the vegan carbonara. Now that is cream. So I've been vegan for three years, but technically I've been vegan for about a week now because I did eat a big 
fat ball of creamy pasta. Technically, I think that should mean they're disqualified. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> I'm really, really bitter about it. And the fact that they, they are still technically the winners, it grinds my gears. Because I obviously, I am the winner. Anyway, as you can see, I've got a bit of a competitive edge to me. <laughs> I just threw out everywhere and it was basically a felt behavior like that I threw up. Okay, we're at the harbor now. It's the next day and my mum and dad are about to arrive and we're gonna surprise them with the boat. Drinking my peach iced tea because it's literally, also this is a plastic straw, don't cancel me. But yeah, peach iced tea on holiday does just hit different. Like it is my holiday drink. There's a boat. Look at all those ones. They're like millionaire boats and then there's our wee boat lol. <laughs> well, Paul, what do you think? Aww. I could get used to this. Do you like it? And I'll be dozing, Jordan. Right, Emma, you going? Up, up, up! Oh, 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 so yeah, it's a new day, it's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's a new life for me. So yeah, we're renting scooters today. It's actually called Indie Scooters. Indie Scooters. Yeah, we're just gonna like go on the scooters and go around different beaches and get some lunch. I actually forget that I got lip filler like two days ago. Like, I got no swelling or bruising. Hmm. Fine, I'll go for another half mil, guys. Oh, fine, filed it. He was a scooter boy. She says, see you, poodle boy. Oh, you look good. Ended the vlog there like that was it me doing an abrupt weird ending to a vlog wouldn't be like me anyway home now was sensational had an unreal time i didn't vlog too much i literally only vlogged like three days because most of the time i was just like sitting sizzling in the sun and that's not really fun to vlog do you know what i mean but hope you had a good time watching it i'll speak to you soon goody pups mm -hmm. why did i do that why do i do things like this